Intel Core Ultra 7 268V Lunar Lake shows impressive single core performance in early review. With better single core performance than Ryzen AI HX370 than Intel Core Ultra 268V Lunar Lake CPU shines in various tests. The Intel Lunar Lake mobile chips were launched on 3rd September, but the laptops based on these chips are going to debut next week on the 24th. The Lunar Lake Core Ultra 200V CPUs bring a combination of Lankov P Core and SkyMod E Core to ensure maximum power efficiency. While we only have information on the performance and efficiency of these chips from the company itself, an early review has revealed what it will be like to use a Core Ultra 200V processor. The Vietnamese YouTube channel ThinkView has benchmarked the Intel Core Ultra 7 268V Lunar Lake CPU on a Dell XBX 13 laptop against its rival from AMD and Apple and we can see that 268V is delivering some impressive results which outperforms AMD chip in both numbers and power efficiency. The laptop used for the test was Dell XPX 139350 featuring Core Ultra 7 268V, 32GB of DDR5X, 8530G3 memory and with the Windows 11 home operating system. As we can see here, from the table the Intel Core Ultra 268V815 was dominating both Ryzen and AI HX370 at 21W and Apple M3 at 6 watt in single core performance numbers. The 68V is not only delivering a slightly higher score but it's going it by being more efficient than the Ryzen AI 9 HX370. Still, the Apple M3 remains unbeatable in efficiency department. However, this wasn't the case with the multi threaded performance as the Core Ultra 268V didn't achieve a competitive score against the Ryzen AI 9 HX370 and Ryzen Z1 Extreme. It should be kept in mind that the Core Ultra 268V is not aimed to deliver competitive multi threaded performance as it is more of a power efficient chip targeted for low to medium loads. Also, the Ryzen AI 9HX370 and Ryzen Z1 Extreme offer significantly more cores and threads respectively. The Z1 Extreme has 16 threads, while the Ryzen AI 9HX370 has 24 threads to work with compared to just N8 or on the 268V chips. In the time spy graphics, the Core Ultra 268V shines once again, scoring a good 37 15 points against 3562 of Ryzen AI 9 HX370. This shows that the ARC 140V GPU is really good against its rival and can play most games without any problems. However, remember that 268V runs at 17 watt, but the laptops using Ryzen 9A IHX370. This was illustrated by the reviewers as he was able to set the Vivobook S14 with Ryzen AI 9 HX370 watt at 55 watt, while the Dell XPX 13 could only work at 17 watt mode, which sets back the gaming performance of the Dell XPS 13 Ryzen AI 9 HX. 370 was able to reach 50 plus FPS in Far Cry 6 while the Core Ultra 268V remained in the mid 30s. In Black Myth Wukong, the AMD chip was delivering 100 plus FPS and Intel said at around 50 FPS mark. This showed that even though Intel Arc 140V is an excellent GPU, the CPU plus GPU combination is what makes or breaks the overall performance. The Lunar Lake will therefore be excellent for handhelds such as the upcoming MSI Claw 8 which is the successor to the Claw 7 running on the Intel Meteor Lake chip. One can also expect the gaming performance to improve when the official launch drivers of Core Ultra 200 VXE2 GPUs are available. Do note that Intel has largely focused on the efficiency and battery life of the Lunar Lake based laptops. In the review, we saw that the laptop could run up to 5.3 hours with a 55 watt hour battery. Although this is decent, it doesn't come up to the claim put forward by the Intel in launch. Of course, the battery life will be increased if the battery is over 70 watt hours. The benchmark were done on an engineering unit and we have seen more great battery life number in other reports. All in all, the Lunar Lake chips look great, excellent for light loads but users who are looking forward to executing intensive workload such as 3D rendering, video editing and gaming without any discrete GPU 
will be better off with sticks point from AMD at the moment.